Beautiful. We're heading to the masquerade ball. <gasps> Where's your costume? This is my champion outfit. No, you can't go to the ball looking like this. Worry about a thing. I'll reveal to you all the beauty secrets I know. Wow, you look so beautiful. Let's take a picture together. Let's go. We're late. Hi there, Vera. I'm not Vera. Vera, hello. Hi, Vera. But I am Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, my dear and precious trains, I'd like to remind you that at the end of our masquerade ball, we're going to conduct a costume contest. Oh, Vera, that's a great costume. You can surely win the contest. <sighs> I'd like to declare that the costume contest has begun. Please meet our contestants, Vera. Dressed up as... Uh, Vera! Sam Sparky! Dressed up as a pirate! And of course our dear lovely Mrs. Dove! And the winner for the very best costume goes to... Oh. <laughs> Wendy! Ha ha! In her champion costume! <sighs> Have you seen Wendy anywhere? We came in together, but where is she now? <sighs> hey there! Vera! Hey, is that your friend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me with my very best friend. Hey, Wendy! I've been looking for you all day! Wow! Hey, Vera! Who's this beauty in the picture here? Yeah! So, what's her name? Uh, <laughs> it's a secret! Hey, friends! Press to subscribe and watch the new episodes! Oh, Ethan, don't do that! You shouldn't take refuge from a thunderstorm under a tree! It could get struck by lightning! But if you run in an open field, you could get struck yourself. Listen, it would be better if we run into the valley or if we go home instead, Ethan. What's wrong with him? It got struck by lightning and turned wild. <laughs> Oh, a thunderstorm is coming on. Close the windows and be very, very careful. Oh. George, Ethan, are you okay? You shouldn't be afraid of storms. You should just go home. We are not afraid of storms. We're simply afraid of a wild trolleykin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but I've got trolley phobia. 
I'm not afraid of domestic trollicans, but the the wild ones, they they really scare me. I can't help it. I, I am so sorry. It's no good. This trolley can has gone wild. We need to get hold of it. What about your trolley can phobia? A true policeman is not a policeman who is afraid, but one who is scared to be afraid. That's true. Well said. We have to remember that for later. All citizens of Train City, we need your help immediately. Trolley can stay wild forever. Only a miracle can save us now. <laughs> That's a good trolleykin. It's nice to see you not wild anymore. Well, it was more fun when T Trolleykin was wild. Oh no, guys. It's good that Wild Trolley King turned back to normal. All right, let's all go home now. There's another thunderstorm coming. Huh? <laughs> uh, well, it looks like our trolley can friend has gone wild again. I guess we're gonna have to help him, guys. <laughs> Interesting place? Yes, visiting a museum is an interesting educational activity. Gee, I love everything interesting and what did you call it? Educational? Hey guys, where are you going? George and I are going to the museum. Come with us, it's absolutely great there. Oh, I can't come. I'm moving my grandma's belongings. Could you help me? Mm -mm. Well, we, we will later for sure. Now we're late for the museum. Oh, never mind. You go. I will manage myself. Vera, I promise you on my word. We will help you. Weird-looking puff. This is an ancient sphinx puff. Where is his nose, then? This is the great riddle of history. There are many versions, but none are approved. Hey, look! Nesting blocks! These are not nesting blocks. These are huge pyramids. Do you know who built them? Who built them? The Egyptians. These are the Egyptian pyramids. Wow. It was very hard work indeed, Ethan, but the results would make you so proud. Yeah, I wish I could go there. What a job. It's so really, really hard, isn't it? It's been an easy part until now. Now we need to lift the rocks up to the top. Huh? Up there to the very top? George, we won't make it. There are many jacks and gears. We will arrange something, just trust me. <laughs> now get ready, let's jump. Oh. Oh. Oops, we stepped short, but the riddle of the Sphinx is solved, I guess. Oh. 
Now pull. Yes, we did it. We're great. Yes, we are. Oh, look. There's Vera down there. The stupid rock. Don't worry. We will help you. Listen, Farrah's really waiting for us there. Huh? But we just came here. We have to help out our friends first. The museum can wait a while. We can come here later with Vera. You're right. Let's go, Ethan. No, let's run! <laughs> I'm afraid we wouldn't make it, even the three of us. Just look at this huge pyramid over here. Pyramid, you're saying? Uh. 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 Oh, wow, that's great. These museums are very helpful. Hey, friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, George, wake up! My wagons. Hey, come on, the sun is high. <laughs> hey, are you still snoring? <laughs> still snoring, yeah. What? It's mine! Don't take it so hard. What happened to make you come so early? To scare me to death? Mm-hmm. Mm. Look at you, my best friend. I couldn't wake you up. What did you huh? dream about? Come on, tell me, huh? Where are you going? Oh, my weapons. I was Hup. dreaming that I was the strongest in town. <laughs> And I thought to myself, Hup. it's so good, it's so very good to be a train. And then you came in and ruined everything. I didn't ruin anything. Wagons are boring. You should have dreams that you fly in, as I do. <sighs> mm. Again? Yes. <laughs> yes, again. And you know what? I've been thinking of becoming a plane. You what? I need to know what it's like to really fly, you know? For now, these mind-blowing dreams don't let me sleep a wink. Hey, don't be silly. Hey, George, don't fail me. Please, I beg you. Can you think of something? You may not be the strongest train I know, but you're certainly the smartest of the trains. <sighs> the end of the trail. No, it's not over. You remember the theory, right? Come on, it's easy. Clear the prop. You remember the instructions. I know, I know, George. Stop bugging me. Let's do this. What about safety rules? Uh... Ah! Oh, what about precautions? that is. Uh, but I've never flown myself. Uh, oh. ah. 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 I flew. I really did. But only in my dreams. You throttle down, Ethan. Uh, you extend uh, the flaps. Am I 
dreams, it was much easier, though. Ethan, Ethan, you're not a plane. You are a train. Pulling wagons is not that bad, actually. Yes, my dear friend. I think I'm getting it now. Hey, hey, where are you taking my wings, George, huh? I'm taking these to the trash. Stop, stop, stop. Can't you see? Uh, Even a train sometimes needs to fly high. Can I have my wings, please? See you later, my dear friend. And thank you so much for my first real flight ever. See ya. Those train or planes, who knows what's in their mind? Mm -mm. Awesome movie! With the sword cut in half, then he was alive again! I was on the edge of my seat. He sat through the whole movie with his eyes shut. He didn't see a thing, I swear. No, no, I wasn't! I heard everything. <gasps> oh, look, old Billy's house is like the Black Castle in the movie. <gasps> what was that? Oh, oh. I can hear someone is snarling. And it's definitely not a steam engine. It's as if somebody is creeping up on a victim. Creeping up on a victim? Ah! So Grandpa Billy changes into a monster every moonlit night, just like this tale says right here. What kind of monster can you check up and learn about? It's important. Well, it doesn't actually say here, but it sounds horrible and dangerous. Very dangerous. Poor old Billy. It's because he's so lonely, I guess. But what if we're wrong about it? There's only one way to check up our theory, guys, and I think I got it. <laughs> guys, I say we wait until the full moon comes out. And then we'll just... What, what will happen then? Well, surely, then he'll come out and eat you up. That's what. Why me? It could be you. I helped Grandpa Billy water his flowers and you didn't, you know. George, why did you bring a bucket of water? I heard that, or rather I read in a book that if you water them, they become friendlier. That's it. Guys, the moon is out now. Soon, Grandpa Billy will turn the lights off, and then... Arnold, put the bucket down. I was only holding it, you know. What do you know? Everybody needs a bucket. <laughs> Why did you run away? Why did you run away? That's it, everyone. Now we need to take action immediately, guys. Okay, bait is delicious food that a monster loves, but he doesn't have any for himself. I don't want to be bait. Besides, you know I'm not delicious at all. Oh, but you're just a, a fat guy. Huh, it makes you so yummy, so live with it. How's he gonna find out that I'm here? Well, first he'll smell you, and then he'll come out and eat you up. I mean, he'll try to, but we'll give him a treat from the bucket. George, I think I don't have any smell at all. Then how? Like this? Oh. No, no, not appetizing enough. Learn from me. Listen. Ooh! Huh? That's outrageous! They won't let an old man sleep. There he is. There. Spill water on him. Quickly now. Quickly. There you are, you naughty kids. Just you wait. Go away. Oh. <laughs> I wish I were you. Look at me. I'm all wet. You know what I think. Maybe Grandpa Billy made noises in his sleep like this. Was he just snoring? <laughs> hey, friends. 
press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. <laughs>